So, if like me you're missing the gym, and the last thing you want to do is give some wanker on Facebook $500 for shit that should have gone to the tip years ago, here's an idea the grandfather used many, many years ago when the uncle was training for the Commonwealth Games. He used to mix up concrete and old jam tins and put a bit of broom handle in between them for the uncle to use as weights when he was training them. So I've gone down to Bunnings and grabbed a couple of smaller buckets, a couple of bigger buckets, some bags of concrete, and I've got a few off cuts of handrail that they had out the back. So we should get out of that two dumbbells and a large barbell. You can work out the weights yourself. The bags of concrete are 20 kilo, and then you're whacking two litres of water in. So that'll give you a rough idea. Like I said, the whole lot, 79 bucks. A lot better than what those Muppets were charging on Facebook. It's going to be rough, but it should do the job. So I've gone with the cheaper buckets because I'm going to leave the buckets on there and tape them in place to give the concrete a bit of impact resistance when you're doing your lifts. All right, let's see how we go. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is set your pipe up nice and straight in your bucket. So all I've done, a bit of rope from one side or the other. And then with the old trusty bubble stick, level her up. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, of course it's perfect. Oh, next thing we're going to do, mix up the concrete. And it is rapid set. So, no pucking around. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. All right. So, if like me, you've got no fucking idea where you put your wheelbarrow, not a problem. Find an old bit of board or conveyor belt. And I just had to have some. Concrete down. Scoop a nice little hole out in the guts to put your water in and then fold the concrete into it. Remember, if you're like me and you bought rapid set, you're going to have to move quick because this shit dries in about 15 minutes. All right, so next video may be when it's in the bucket. Ooh. Ooh. Mental note, next time, buy a concrete mixer. Ooh. Ooh. All right, check your levels one more time. All right, now we just let it dry for a couple of hours and then we can invert it and do the other end. Hopefully without the top end falling on us. That'd be good. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. All right, so remember also, it's important to keep your hydration up while doing these projects. And I'm keeping mine up with my essential aminos, Evolve. Our red frog damage control. Ooh, good stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Getting harder than an old bull in a paddock full of lean beef cows. Ooh, 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 ooh. Alrighty, we're ready for the next bit. Happy Easter, you chocolate-eating freaks. You can see I've inverted her, and now we're ready to fill the bottom drum with concrete. I'll tie some additional ropes to the roof to give rid of support, because that pass is heavy. The last thing you want is that coming down your noggin. All right, if you're running low on rope, you're going to have to raid the bondage drawer. You can only go out for essential services, remember? If you're too vanilla to uh, have a bondage drawer, then I suggest there's some other videos you need to investigate during this isolation time. I call bullshit. <laughs> okay, again, let it dry. And then we're on to the dumbbells. Or I could be making an arm curl bar yet. I don't know. Stay tuned. Remember to clean your shit up. If that concrete dries on there, it's going to be hard to get off. All right, uh, next job is I've decided to make an arm curl bar instead of dumbbells. So we're only going to put one bag in each end of this one, but for the moment anyway. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, and I'll recheck the level. Oh, oh, oh. Perfect. Mm -hmm. oh. 
Okay, so half an arm curl bar done as well. Just a bit of a tip. The 19 litre bucket holds a kick in the ass off a, off a 20 kilo bag of concrete. So you'll have about 20 kilo or 19.2 either side. Okay, so lightning is not real good, but that's okay. We already knew I had had for radio. So, big girl's finished, and we've inverted the arm curl bar ready to fill the other bucket. Now just remember, you don't have to put this much concrete in. Just work out roughly how much you want the weight to be, but make sure you get a bar that's structurally gonna handle it. It's no good putting a piece of uh, shitty pipe in if it's just gonna bend and collapse the first time you use it. All right, all right. We're nearly there, nearly ready to have our own work here with the old bull iron. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Okay, just a bit of a tip. Any leftover concrete? Must be strategically placed in the garden where all the neighbours can see it. That way they know you've been doing some manly shit. Okay, so we're all done. We're going to go through now and just recap some of the prices um, and what we ended up with final. Ooh. Okay, so big bucket, $4.40. They're a 42 litre, and the small buckets were a 9 litre, and they were 96 cents. The bar worked out to about $3 a, uh, a metre. Um, Olympic bars, 2200 That was 2100 which was fine. Uh, bags of concrete, $10.50 each. And you put approximately three litres of water in with it. So a litre of water is around about a kilo. So each bag's gonna give you 23 kilo of weight. That'll help you work it out in case you wanna split just one bag between two buckets. Uh, just do it that way. Final weights, we ended up with 42.3 kilo in the small one, and the large one was 100.3. So decent weight, exactly what I was looking for. And ready to go. Uh, the only thing I might end up doing with a bigger one is slitting the top and folding it in and either gluing it down or working a bit of rape tape over it to hold it down. Alright, I hope that helps. Uh, easy way to make some cheap ways to keep you active during this time of isolation. I know the video is a bit rough, but uh, there's no amount of light and no special effects that's going to stop this head looking like a freshly kicked cake tin. All right, so remember, it is important to try and eat healthy and, and stay active, um, not just for your physical well-being, but for your mental well-being. And yeah, keep in mind that people are still only a phone call away. You want to just shoot the shit and give someone a bell. Uh, start thinking of new projects now and, and see what else I can share. But like I said, hope it helps. Ooh, ooh.